the right way to dispatch one of our mainline sets. It looks simple, and to all intents and purposes, it is simple. But its sheer simplicity can catch you out, especially when something goes wrong or your attention is distracted. No. So, let's look at it again, this time in detail. There are three key staff involved in train dispatch. The person in charge of the platform, that's me. The guard, that's me. And the driver, that's me. Now it may be that there's an additional dispatch assistant on the platform, sometimes called a buddy. OK, let's get started. We've got eight minutes to our booked departure time. The person in charge of the platform, with the assistance of the buddy, must now complete the pre-departure checks. Begin by checking that both the driver and the guard are not are present. Check that any, any not-to-be-moved boards have been removed. Check that the train's tail lights are correctly lit. Check that there are no other known problems which might prevent a right time departure. OK, you've done all that. Now walk forward along the platform, not closing open doors and drop light windows. Make sure that doors are obstructed. Check that the driving, the driving van trailer or DVT doors are closed and locked. Now, most importantly, check that the platform starting signal is showing a proceed aspect. There are three possible ways of doing this, so let's take a moment to look. First is the off indicator. Second is the banner repeater at 45 degrees. Third, the signal itself, showing a proceed aspect. You must recheck that the starting signal is still off at each stage of the departure procedure. Take this for granted. The signaller might replace the signal to danger for some reason unknown to you. It's now a minute and a half to departure. Time to whistle up, advising customers that the train is ready to go. If people are still walking along the platform intending to board, ask them to join the train by the nearest available door. You must now ensure that all doors are properly closed and secured. This must be done thoroughly. Doors must be left on the catch. Now operate the train ready to start switch. With 60 seconds to go, the platform barrier closed and all customers intending to travel aboard the train, it's time to commence the dispatch procedure. Train hosts should join the train, closing the door behind them. The guard, that's me, must be stationed at the CDL panel nearest the buffer stops. If any last minute passengers turn up, I'll ask them to board the train through this door, rather than con driving van trailer. I've got my key on and the CDL panel is active. The person in charge of the platform, that's me, has gone to the train dispatch control panel near the barrier and the assistant is near the third car from the front of the train. We all check that the platform starting signal is still showing a proceed aspect. Then the person in charge, that's me, gives the first station work is complete signal, holding up a dispatch baton or a white hand lamp. I now operate the CDL and engage the central locking. Then step out onto the platform to check that all doors are closed and obstruction lights are out. The person in charge rechecks the signal, rechecks the doors, then gives the second station work is complete signal to the guard. Then rejoin the train and cl not closing the door behind me. Give the ready to start signal to the person in charge on the platform. That's me. Only after receiving my green hand signal, the person in charge inserts the key in the control panel and operates the RA switch. The RA indicator adjacent to the signal now illuminates and the driver, that's me, releases the brake and takes power. The train is safely dispatched on time. I'll remain at my window until the entire train has cleared the platform and the person in charge must similarly observe the entire departure.